Hey y'all, it's Maxine, your favorite wine specialist, guiding you on your journey through buying wine. And it is Monday, so you know that it is Monday Wine Q&A. So let's hop right into it. So as you saw on last week's video, I recently visited Pippin Hill Farm and Vineyard on a winery tour. So I wanted today to be about what to wear to a winery. I know sometimes when it's time to go visit a winery, we're deciding like what to wear, what should I put on? Today, I'm gonna to give you some tips. But before I get into what to wear, let me tell you what's in my glass, because I'm still on the property. I am currently drinking the Cab Franc, the 2017 Cab Franc from Pippin Hill, and this is very delightful. The tasting notes will be in the description. Now, let's get into what to wear. So when deciding what to wear, you wanna take into consideration two things, weather and comfort. As you see, this is a beautiful sunny day, but it's in the high 60s. So I chose a long sleeve shirt to pair with these shorts and the boots. Now, I know you're thinking, Maxine, you're walking around a winery with heels on, but these heels are comfortable. So I'm able to wear and navigate throughout the property. If you're gonna choose heels, make sure that they are heels that you can stand in. A wedge is also a great option for in the winery with ladies. Additionally, you also don't wanna to have too many clothes that are such a fuss. I really like this light sleeve top that I have from J. Crew. It's a beautiful blouse that helps me navigate throughout the winery, but I still look nice. You want to go with a casual sheet option. Additionally, I chose a crossbody and a waist bag will also do a great job or a family pack for this one. You don't want to have anything too much in your hands because you're going to be tasting and you're also going to be leaving with some bottles. So you want to keep your hands free. Another thing, ladies and gentlemen, make sure you go very light on the perfume or no perfume at all because we have to sniff our wine. And we don't want to offend others around us and we don't want to impede on the wine that we're smelling. Additionally, ladies, don't forget the lip gloss. With the lip gloss, you want to make sure that you do a nice lip gloss or a lip balm because you want to minimize the transfer of your lipstick from the glass. So if you're going to choose to do a lipstick, make sure that it is a matte that doesn't transfer over to your glass because they definitely don't want the hassle of having to clean your lipstick off the glass. And gentlemen, when choosing what to wear to a winery, err on the side of business casual or casual Friday. This is still a nice event. Casual chic is always the best option for you. Until we meet again, oh, drink good and well.